Hello everybody, my name is Crystal George and I'm going to show you today how to find your ProAdvisor software so that you can download it as well as access your license information if you prefer to use the CD that you got with your ProAdvisor kit. Uh, the great thing about this method is that you can access the software uh, you need anywhere. So if you're out and you need to download your software, uh, maybe you got a new computer or something, uh, you don't have to worry about finding um, the box with the CDs in it in order to install your software. So first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you've logged into your ProAdvisor website. So you need to have your login. If you haven't done that, um, there's a process to walk you through activating it on the main page. QBAdvisor.com is the shortcut. And then once you're logged in, you're going to be on the home page here. And you'll notice right over here in the helpful links section is a little link that says member software and licenses. That's the fastest and easiest. You can usually find it if you just go to my account as well and you can kind of poke around in there. But if you click on this link right here, it's going to bring up a screen where it's going to show you your products uh, with all the information that you need. I've got both my accountant 2011 here and my enterprise solutions accountant. And I've got product number as well as license numbers. So this is where you find that information. These are assigned directly to you. So you'll know, you know, if you've got multiple people in the office, everybody's using the right information. And then all you've got to do actually is just click the download software button in the download link section. And that's actually going to launch uh, the executable file. And it says Premiere 2011, that is the right link. And all you've got to do is you can run that or you might even want to just save it to your desktop. That way if something happens in the um, installation process, you, you need to quit and do something else. You can always come back to it later. There'll be a little icon then on your desktop. So it's very easy. You just hit save, tell it where you want it to go. And it's going to take just a few minutes to basically download that uh, in little file. And then from there, you're going to run an installation that's pretty much going to be very similar to using the CD, only you're going to be on the latest maintenance release. So you don't have to worry about installing it and then going and doing the updates. Um, the alternative is you can also access um, download links. Sometimes you might get an email from us when you're downloading product. And that works very much the same way. You just click on the link in the email and your license and product number is usually in the email as well. So that's another way to, to quickly and easily download your software and have all the information you need for installation. And that's all I have for today. So have a great day.